we're in a segment of the museum uh, where it tells a story about family theater productions. And Father was about to talk about the movie Prey. Father, sure. Welcome. Yeah. Delight. Uh, it's a delight to uh, speak about Prey because it it is uh, the second part of uh, how we responded to the decree that Father Peyton is now venerable. First one is the Museum of Family Prayer. The second one is a documentary film on on Father Patrick Peyton and his uh, ministry, his life. I just can't uh, tell you how pleased and delighted everyone in our ministry is with the with this documentary. Usually, documentaries uh, can can uh, you know they they can be interesting and and all of that, but they're not the most exciting. Uh, <laughs> genre understood, or understood. kind of kind of films, but this one is. It really captures Father Peyton. The music by Grant Fonda was nominated for an Academy Award for the quality, and and the film has gone to film festivals and it's been winning best uh, documentary in film festivals. It's had a theatrical release. But I just want to say that as someone who knew Father Peyton back in the day, that it really captures him and and the 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 great faith that he had, his love for our Blessed Mother, for the family, for our Lord Jesus Christ, and and the the passion with which he pursued the grit that he brought to so much of it. And this these uh, are just reminders. He went all over Latin America with these huge rosary rallies. And in many, many locations, uh, uh, he uh, had produced uh, uh, films that were shown in many, in, in many countries in Latin America. They were, they were translated into Spanish and Portuguese and even in Aymaran and uh, Quechua languages. And and uh, so we we said if we do something about Father Peyton's legacy, it's got to involve a film. So uh, it's appropriate because he he produced uh, fifteen films, one on each of the fifteen mysteries of the Rosary back in the day. They were so well done that they're still released today. And at the World's Fair in Brussels, the Vatican exhibit was made up of Father Peyton's uh, fifteen uh, Rosary films, and so. The documentary "Pray" it's available, and it is it's a, a great witness to the life, the the ministry, the works of this good man. You know, every time I take people through the museum here, it's always really fun to come through here, especially when there's younger people, because mm. they see the equipment and they say he carried that around with him. <laughs> it's a whole different world nowadays, sure. as we know. But uh, you have to put that in context of the time and how so far ahead he was mm -hmm. in his time and how he really pushed the envelope in terms yes. of media for that time. And yes, we have the movie Prey. I have to do a little bit of a promo for it, but yes, you can yeah. find this on DVD, Blu-ray, but of course, uh, streaming as well. And it is outstanding, an outstanding documentary. And it was produced at uh, Family Theater Productions. Uh, they went around to a lot of uh, different locations, but but it's uh, the staff, Father David Guffey and Megan Harrington and uh, others on the staff there who are responsible for the, the high quality. It's just, uh, yeah. I can't say enough about uh, how happy we are with this. It's, it's, it's the second major piece in honoring Father Peyton as someone who is now venerable and is on the way, we hope, to uh, being beatified and declared a saint.